Hey guys, so it's been quite a while since I uploaded any video in general. Sorry it took so long. I'd like to explain why that's the case, but it's such a long story and frankly it's not what I would say is a happy story. I'm likely going to make a dedicated video on that on the new Rant in Place channel. Link to that channel will be in the description. But anyways, why have I decided to suddenly come out of nowhere and finally have the motivation to make a video? So just recently, out of nowhere, the pilots of multiple Disney TVA shows have been leaked and man that essentially kickstarted the fandoms of these shows back to life. At least for a little while. While there were many pilots leaked, the three pilots that caught my eyes were the Amphibia, the Owl House, and the Ghost in Molly McGee pilots. Which kind of makes sense given they are my three favorite shows to come out in recent years. Although for today's video, I just want to ramble about the Amphibia pilot for now since this was my favorite show out of the three. Although I might make videos on the other two pilots if you guys want to hear my comments on them. Now for those who somehow don't know what a pilot is, when referring to TV shows, it is essentially the pre-production versions of the show's official first episode. Generally, these pilots have a pretty similar story to the official first few episodes. Although it is quite interesting to see the differences between the original pilot and the final version of the show's introduction. Oh, and if you guys are wondering where you can see these pilots in their entirety, I'll leave a link to them in the description. I'll try to keep those links up to date given there's a good chance they'll be taken down for copyright reasons. But for those who have watched the pilot already, there are some things about them that really caught my eye. For one, the show and the world itself was initially called Amphiboland instead of Amphibia during the pilot. So keep that in mind if I use these names interchangeably. The first few minutes of the pilot was essentially a compressed version of the episode that will eventually become Ann or Beast. The main difference is being that we see Ann's initial reaction to arriving in Amphiboland, Marcy looks very different compared to her final look, and Sprig had a completely different look and a completely different voice. Oh, friends! You mean that person here? What is that? In this pilot, Sprig was voiced by Thurl Von Orman, the same guy who voiced Gideon from Gravity Falls, and Flapjack from his own show, The Marvelous Misadventures of Flapjack. I'm not gonna lie, I would have been so on board with him being the voice of Sprig, given that his voice does fit the character well. Although, ultimately, I am still happy with Justin Felbinger being Sprig, as he did make the character more unique in my view. To be honest, I feel like Pilot Sprig was essentially Frog Flapjack from the voice, and how his personality was similar to Flapjack in a way. As for the rest of the pilot, the story went rather similarly to how Best Franz went in the official series. Anne wants to have fun with Sprig, they go ahead and fool around, they have to fight a monster as a result of that, they learn about what it really means to be friends. Also, the episode ends in the same way as Best Franz with a cliffhanger. In fact, some of the dialogue from the pilot made its way into the official episode. For example, if a friend likes a pencil box, you get it for her. If a friend likes her new shoes, you give them to her. And if your friend wants you to steal a music box from a thrift store even if you really, really don't want to, you do it, okay? Because if you don't, they might not want to be friends with you anymore. Look, if a friend likes a pencil case, you get it for them. If your friend likes your new shoes, you give them to her. And if a friend wants you to steal a crazy music box from a thrift store even if you really don't want to, you do it, okay? Because if you don't, they might not want to be your friend anymore. But aside from the pacing, there are some key differences between the pilot and Best Franz. For one, Sprig was surprisingly more assertive in the pilot than in the official series. When pressured into breaking the rules, Pilot Sprig stood his ground and refused to help Anne. Another point worth noting is that Pilot Anne acted a little more toxic than in Best Fronts given that Sprig went on to acknowledge Anne's toxicity towards him. There's a few more things about the pilot that caught my eye. Pilot Hop Up was somehow more strict than how he is in the official series. I guess the crew decided to dial back how strict he was because I'm pretty sure constantly making your grandson always work is pushing it for the SMP department. Also, we never really see Polly show any signs of being aggressive and violent, unlike in the official series. The main thing that really caught my attention was that Pilot Ant may have claimed that she's neurodivergent. Hop up, it's not my fault. I have this rare disease where I stop paying attention. Yeah, it's a problem. Now, a few might say that she just said this as an excuse to get out of work, which isn't wrong. But given how Ant said it, 
and how we later see her act in the actual series, this line definitely feeds into the ADHD and headcanon, which I'm on board for. Although I don't have ADHD, I do know several friends who do have it. And seeing any forms of representation of this trait is great to see, even if it isn't official. Now in addition to the pilot, we also saw the full version of the Amphibia animation test. Most of this sequence has been revealed to us before, but there are some more details revealed from it recently. For one, the show itself looks quite a bit more aesthetically dark and, well, swampy. As much as I would have liked to see the world be more swampy, as it does align more with how dangerous the world is, I do think the color palette that the show eventually adopted looks better in my view, especially since it likely aged better with the show's second and third seasons. Although, we do see some of the original color palette in some scenes of the show, especially when it takes a darker turn. One of the scenes that was uncovered from this recent leak was how Anne initially got her iconic blue glowing sword. For one, the sword in the pilot is more of a dagger than a sword. Secondly, Anne was a bit more careless in this scene compared to how she was in the final version of this scene. Thirdly, in the pilot, it was Hop Pop who gave Anne this sword instead of Tritonio. Now, this is purely speculation on my part, but that made me believe that Anne's sword was supposed to be a passed down planter family heirloom and its blue glow could only activate when someone possessed the calamity powers. So that in turn means that the planter's ancestor had a stronger connection to the calamity box compared to how it is in the official series. But by far the biggest new piece of content we got from the animation test was its very last scene. Wow, Anne. You've really changed. I've changed too. So yeah, Anne and Sasha still had that confrontation, but Sasha apparently has frog eyes. There's no official explanation for what was Sasha's original character arc when it comes to this, but my best guess is that Sasha was supposed to get possessed, kind of like what happened to Marcy in the actual series. Although Anne technically got possessed as well in that one episode in season 1. So yeah, we can technically say that all three members of the Calamity Trio have been possessed at some point. Overall, Seeing this Amphibia pilot really just goes to show just how much the series has changed from its initial development to how it actually turned out. There were definitely some crazy ideas that Matt and the crew had for the show initially, and I'm pretty sure we haven't seen all of them. But in a way, the most surprising thing about this pilot is the things that carried over into the official series. Matt Brawley's initial ideas for Amphibia fused together with the ideas from other writers, artists, and Disney themselves to become the show we got, which I still have as my favorite Disney cartoon by far. But even with all of the external factors influencing the writing process of the show, the heart of Matt Brawley's original idea remained largely intact. Now you may say that should be obvious, but there have been times where shows have strayed away from its initial vision. The Amphibia pilot is a testament to how much Matt Brawley and the early crew members got right for their show, and how much they believed in it. The pilot and how it evolved actually kind of mirrors the arc that Anne had. While it went through a good amount of change, it still embraced what made the show unique from the start. But hey, that's just what I think of the Amphibia pilot. If you've seen it, let me know what you thought of it in the comments below, and please give this video a like, and subscribe for more content like this. With all that being said, thank you all for watching this video. I hope you all have a great day. See you in the next one.